Hi, I'm Carmen and I go to OSU and we're here at Buckeye Ceramic Supply and we're gonna make some pots. I started throwing pottery when I was in high school and I just took a ceramics class and have been doing it ever since then. When I graduated high school, I started working at a paint and pottery studio in order to throw. Um, and then I eventually became the manager there and kind of it all went from there. I started working here about three years ago. Um, the paint and pottery studio closed and uh, I had been designing stuff for Mako and they knew that where I was working was closing, so they just kind of took me on um, as one of their designers. What I do for work is basically design projects for different studios and markets in the pottery world. Um, so most of the time I get to glaze stuff, but sometimes I get to actually make the pottery. Well, starting out with any piece, you're gonna start um, wedging the clay, which is basically just um, getting any air bubbles out of it that you can. And then you can move on to the wheel. With anything that I've been doing lately, I just really enjoy messing with kind of the form of a piece. So I just spend a lot of time just messing around with kind of the different shapes that I can make. I'm really, really partial to like bulbous kinds of things. So that's normally where I start out with. I really like to try to like push the clay to its limits with the form because you can't just do whatever you want with the clay. It'll, you kind of have to meet in the middle with it, I guess. And um, so I like to push the limits of that, which a lot of the time ends up disastrous, but sometimes it ends up pretty cool. And beyond just pushing the form of the clay when I'm throwing, I also enjoy doing it after the fact. So uh, some of the pieces that I've had published via my work, I ended up just throwing kind of a giant bulb shape and then I cut into it, which altered the form, which I thought, thought was really, really interesting. Um, starting with kind of one form and then ending up with another just by putting slices in it and everything. So I guess those are just the two ways that I personally like am really inspired by pottery is just the different things that you can do with it. And it's kind of a medium that's sort of limitless, not only via the shapes that you can make, but also the things that you can do with it. Uh, it goes way beyond functional wear. I think that pottery is kind of written off as a craft because it's been around since forever, and it was originally here to serve a function, but now it's not really necessary to serve a function, so you can do more than just make cups and plates with it. And I think that there is like a big representation in the fine art world of ceramics, but it gets kind of overlooked because of it being written off as a craft. Once you have your piece made, then you're gonna to wanna to let it sit out for 
like a week-ish, but you can rush it if you really need to. But generally, if you're just air drying it like normal, you're gonna let it dry for about a week. Then you'll go ahead and do a bisque firing. And the bisque firing is basically just to get all of the moisture out of the clay. You're gonna have a nice sturdy piece when it's been bisque fired. And once you have it bisque fired, then you can take it and glaze it. And you have all sorts of options that you can do with your glazes. These pieces will be glazed with a mid-range fire glaze. And then once you have it glazed, you can go ahead and put it in a glaze firing, which is 2,230 degrees. And then you'll have a piece of pottery. I think that like right now with everything, I'm really trying to figure out what it is that I enjoy to do, which is why I like to experiment so much with the form, I think. Um, but like the kind of bulbous sort of shapes definitely appeal to me more than anything. And I try to do weird shapes that you wouldn't normally see. Most of the stuff that I've done thus far is kind of functional wear because of the fact that I go to markets and sell my stuff at markets. Now that I've started at OSU though, I actually am gonna have more time to focus on like making my own art, which I've had a chance to experiment with a little bit through working here, but most of the stuff that I get to do with my work is a different market than the art that I would like to be doing. So I'm really excited to get into the studio at OSU and be able to make my own art. <laughs>